Okay, so it sounds like there is some crashing issues with Piskel, so I'm going to show you how to create the sprite in Photoshop and then bring it into Piskel for the animation. So let's go new file. And I want to do pixels, and I'm doing 30 by 30. I'll leave it at 72, but you can do whatever you want. Make sure you're on a transparent background. Create. So here is my sprite. And then I'm going to do File New. And I'm going to do... 120 wide by actually no let's go 150 by 30 transparent create all right here we go so now I'm going to set a ruler at every 30 pixels And you can do this a lot more precision. I'm just doing it quickly. And then the middle. All right. Now I'm going to make a circle. Paint bucket. So now I have just a circle here. I'm going to select all, control A, or select all. Copy it, control C, or edit copy, either way. Then paste it into your first frame. And there it is. Now we'll go to our second one. Paintbrush. I'm deselecting. Why is that not working? Okay, there we go. All right, select all, control A, control C to copy, paste it. Then I'm gonna add more. Copy it, paste it. Then I'm going to add more. Copy it. Paste it. And then finish it off. Copy it. Paste it. All right, so here is my sprite sheet. I'm gonna file, export, quick export. Call this sheet. So now my sprite sheet's exported. Open up GDevelop, add new object, sprite, add animation, edit with Piskel. And then I'm going to import browse images. And this one's called sheet one. Sheet one. But I want to import as a sprite sheet. And remember, there were 30 pixels each. So now it's broken up into blocks. Import. OK. All right. It's kind of there, but it's looking a little wacky. So what's going on? Okay, that one's good. That one's good. This one's good. This one is moved over, so I need to move it over a little bit. Okay. 
Move this one over a little bit. There we go. Move this one over a little bit. And now we have our animation working. And that's how you do it.